Okay, now Google's Gemini has evolved over time and it seems to be much better compared to how it was a few months ago. There are a lot of changes and a lot of improvements on this assistant and it works much better and flawlessly now. In this video, I wanted to discuss about some changes that they have made and uh, some tips for you guys to use Gemini to its fullest potential. Before we dive in, if you haven't been a part of Apex community yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community to know your phone better. I share a lot of tips and tricks videos, update related contents for the Android phones, Galaxy phones, Galaxy watches, Samsung Galaxy tabs, and a lot more contents which will be very interesting. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you find this video informative. And if you're interested in this wallpaper, I have left a link for that in the description. Go ahead, check that out and download the wallpaper. Every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. Now let's dive into the video. Now to wake up Gemini, all you can say is, hey Google, here we go, we have got Gemini activated. Now you can start asking questions, you can ask the information that you need, you can ask Gemini to execute some tasks. Some time ago, executing system related tasks were a bit difficult because most of it were handled by a Google Assistant and Gemini was quite new and uh, Google had not integrated all these uh, features into uh, Gemini. However, now it works much better. But still there are some features which don't work. Let me show you that. Hey Google, how is the weather? Open calculator. It opens the calculator. Open gallery. Sorry, it says, I can't help with that. You can access applications on your device directly using the user interface. So uh, it is not able to open the uh, default applications on Samsung Galaxy phone. Instead, I will have to say, hey Bixby. Open gallery. Here we go, it has opened the gallery here, but uh, Gemini is not able to open that. Open calendar. Sorry, I can't help with that. Again, can it, it cannot do that. Can you open Gmail? Yeah, it is able to open its own applications, the Google applications, but not the system applications. Can you set an alarm uh, for 6 a.m. tomorrow morning? It has set an alarm. Can you set a reminder? And it can set the reminder. Can you start the stopwatch? It says it can't help with that. You can set or adjust the alarm on most devices by using their built-in clock Sorry, applications. Bixby? Start the stopwatch. It's already running. So uh, this is able to do that. Bixby, stop the stopwatch. I didn't understand that. Stop the stopwatch. I'll stop the stopwatch. There we go. Now Bixby is able to do all this, uh, but if you're using the uh, Gemini, it will be a little difficult. Now let me just expand this window here. As you can see, the layout has changed completely now. Earlier we used to see a lot of information here, what Gemini can do and how you can use it. All that used to be here, but now it's a plain window here. It's a, a plain page here. And we have got the profile picture here and we have got all the history that we have. And we have got the mic button here. We can attach images using this icon and we do have Gemini Live. Now I have already demonstrated Gemini Live uh, in my previous video, so if you missed that, you can go ahead and check that out. Gemini Live was subscription-based feature, but now Google has released this feature for all the Android phones for free. You will be able to have a live conversation on Gemini Live using this particular feature. Now the next thing is, we can activate Gemini even when the phone is locked. Let me show you that. Hey Google. You see, we have got Gemini activated even when the phone is locked. To activate Gemini on the lock screen, all you need to do is just go to your profile picture, tap on settings, and here you have got Gemini on lock screen option. Just tap on that, enable this, Gemini responses on the lock screen it says. So if you have enabled this toggle, whenever you are on the lock screen, you can wake up Gemini and start talking to it. Now let's say if you have got something on your screen, you will be able to wake up Google 
hey Google, and ask about the screen. You see, we have got this option, ask about the screen. You can just tap on that. This will select the screen here. This will select this particular screenshot, whatever is there on the screen. And you can ask the question right here. Get help with what's on your screen. I can say, can you summarize this? Please summarize what is on the screen. The screen shows an update for the Samsung Capture app. The update improves the usability of Smart Select, allowing users to create animations, GIFs, add a pin directly from the toolbar, drag the selected area to adjust its position, and draw an outline around the area to select it. This is pretty cool, right? We have got something on the screen, and if you want to ask about it, you can ask Google by activating Gemini and tapping on Ask About the Screen feature. Okay, now here I've got some data on the screen. Let's say I want to ask something about this data here. I say, hey Google, tap on ask about the screen. I would like to add all the numbers which are available on the screen. Certainly, let's add up the numbers in the image you provided. You see, we have got all the numbers here. It says section one. I've got everything here. We've got section two. Then we have total. Adding up all the numbers in both sections gives us a so and so number. Down. Section one. 1,800. I'm showing this to you just for the purpose of this video. Uh, just in case if you want to add up something or calculate something from, uh, from the data that you have on the screen, you can activate Gemini and ask about that screen and ask Gemini to do the calculations. That is again pretty cool. Next, the AI assistant Gemini can create the images better now with the newer model Imagine 3. It seems Imagine 3 is a much faster and more advanced model for uh, creating images. Let's try creating some images now. Create an image of a beautiful car on the mountain. Sure, here is an image of a beautiful car on the mountain. So now the images which are being created are more realistic compared to the cartoonish AI generated images we used to get earlier. Let's create some more images here. Create an image of a tiger chasing a lion. It's actually taking a lot of time. Okay, here we go. We have got a beautiful image. It actually looks quite realistic here. Create an image of Batman chasing uh, Spider-Man. Generating images of people is only available in early access with Gemini Advanced. Get early access to new Gemini features when you subscribe to Advanced here. So uh, generating images is not possible on the free version. You will have to subscribe to uh, Gemini Advanced to create images of people. So that is not working here. I think these basic image creation should work on this, but unfortunately we don't have that feature. Now this is how the image creation has improved on Gemini. Now uh, let me show you how you can change the voice on Gemini. Now to change voice, you need to go to the uh, profile image here, the settings here. I'll tap on settings. And this is where you will get this option, Gemini's voice. I'm ready to be your voice. If you like what you hear, choose me to start talking. Feel free to keep exploring until you find the perfect voice. You can always change voices later. I'll, if you're curious about the other voices, swipe to explore. It's good to meet you. Give me a chance or check out the other. Maybe I'm your style. Pick me and I can be the voice you hear. I'd be honored to be the voice you choose for Gemini, but let Choosing a voice is tricky, but hopefully it's also fun. Maybe I'm the voice that's right for you, but there are quite a few to choose from. I'm another voice in the mix. I'll be here whenever you're ready to talk. Now, frankly, these voices sound quite artificial. It is not so natural like the chat GPT voice. Chat GPT voice sounds much more natural compared to the Gemini's voices. But anyways, we've got some cool choices here. You will be able to select the one you want. Now here in the settings, you can also see Google Assistant features in Gemini. Let's tap on this. Now this is where you can activate Hey Google to activate Gemini. Let me just uh, tap on this here. Okay, it is gone. Let's go to the settings here again. Let me tap on Hey Google and voice match. You need to enable this option here to access a Gemini by just saying Hey Google. 
Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me how to change the default assistant from Gemini to uh, Google Assistant. For that, again, you have to come to Gemini settings here, tap on digital assistants from Google. This is where you can select Gemini or Google Assistant. Hey Google, can you search for this song? Yes, uh, Google still integrates Google Assistant here. You can see Google Assistant logo right here. So right now, Google Assistant is activated and which is working within Gemini uh, application. And it is listening to the song and it will tell us the moment it recognizes that song. Likewise, many other features are still associated with Google Assistant and uh, Google is still using Assistant here. As you can see, it integrates with Gemini to execute some function. Here we go. It will ask us to open Gemini or switch to Google Assistant. This is another way to uh, activate Google Assistant just in case if you don't want Gemini to be used on your phone. Now, these are a few things about Gemini, which I wanted to discuss with you guys in this video. Let me know what do you think about Gemini? Have you been using it? Is it better than Google Assistant? Has it been useful for you in any ways? Let me know in the comment section. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.